Hello, today I am going to show you how can we create migration and generate the data through factory. So this is a Laravel 5.8 version and I have done nothing in this base installation. In the environment file, first of all I need to integrate the database. I have one database which name is Laravel underscore factory. So I just need to put here uh, username is root and I did not set any password. The next step is I need to create migration. The migration documentation is available on Laravel uh, official documentation. You can see we can generate the migration through this command. So for PHP artisan make migration and then the migration name or table name. So in the directory in the root directory you can see the uh, database folder inside this uh, database folder there is migration folder. So once we execute the command this command will generate a new migration for us. So suppose create post table and here it should create a could not open file artisan. I'm sorry, I missed the, some uh, excelling and let me check what is the issue. Uh, issue is we are on parent folder. So I need to go inside the Laravel project cd battery and then again same command it should create a migration here we have migration and uh, we are going to add some uh, columns in the post table so what it will do actually it will create a table and we need some uh, columns the first is id and the last two two are created and updated column uh, which will be generated by this function and let's generate string and i need the name and the second one suppose table and uh, which type should be should be text and the column name uh, let's support description and one more table and tiny integer and suppose we also need the status and you also want the default value should be one so this one will create a, a, a post and with these columns so let's uh, execute the migration command so in this way we will have post table so we just need to do one command php let me show you the database first here you can see we don't have any database so let's execute php artisan migrate and here you can see all migration has been executed we just need to refresh it and you can see we have post table here in post table there is no data so let's create factory so now the second step is we need to create a factory and here is the documentation to creating the factory but before creating the factory uh, we are also need the model and model uh, as you know the models are always inside app folder so php artisan make model and then model name is suppose post and here you can see the post uh, model has been generated through the command just one more thing we can do also for go to uh, go for a go track case we can do uh, protected then table equal to and then table name which is post and next step is create a factory so for factory there is also documentation available on laravel website you can see it so we, uh, we are going to create a factory so the command is php artisan make factory and then factory name post factory here also, uh, i would like to mention one more thing which is also available in the documentation like if you have model you can also give the reference of the model and it will automatically put the class into the factory uh, function so the command is model post and in the factories we have post factory and here you can see the post class has been available it is already uh, i mean automatically has been uh, mentioned in this file so name space is available and next step is we need to create a factory to generating the data so uh, in the table we have three columns but we are going to create a, a factory for only two columns because we added default value for status for name we have faker uh, and then name and for another column description and then faker object it should be paragraph it should generate the data and next uh, next thing is we need to create cedar so let's create a cedar for cedar there is also 
of documentation available on the Laravel website which is php artisan make cedar and then cedar class name so we are going to create php artisan make cedar and then cedar class name so post table and cedar so we have post table cedar and which uh, already has a method its name is run so it's mean when we execute the command for cedar it will uh, execute this method and whatever we will write here the uh, the method will execute the command for us so here we are going to create a function sorry uh, call the function factory and in this we have two parameter factory and add then model name which is cost and then class and now the number of rows which we want to generate let's suppose 15 rows and then create function which will create 15 records for cost and the data will be available into the this table right now you can see i have refreshed there is no data available so let's execute the command which is also available in this documentation and we are going to execute php artisan seed sorry db seed and let's see if it is working or not i hope it is generating the data and database seeding completed successfully so let me refresh the page and we don't have any result it should create it should generate the record let me check what mistake i have made i think i have missed this app and back for backslash here i hope uh, the issues the issue is because of this let me check once again but let me refresh the past and again the same command i hope now it will generate the record okay not available so now we have also uh, the class command which is uh, here you can see however you may use uh, hyphen hyphen class option to specify uh, a specific cedar class to run individually so let execute individually which is uh, php artisan db seed and hyphen hyphen class and then class name which is call stable and cedar so let me check the record has been generated yes you can see the record has been generated and the uh, only issue was i mean this can be issue this is not actually issue i don't know why it was not executing the cedar but here we have some record generated by factory and let me show you again the file we generated through the command which are available so we generated one post model and then we generated one fact then we generated uh migration here is the migration then post factory here is post factory and uh, we have seed and here is seed i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you please let me know how can i improve the quality of tutorial uh, for future update and please like share and subscribe the channel to support me thank you so much for watching it